This week in gaming, we play Black Ops 4. PUBG got a new update. Paxton spotlighting a unique bouncy ball. I tell you why Elon Musk is into video games and you get your quickies. And then we show you some VR gameplay from Alabama Boss. All this and more starting right now. Call of Duty Black Ops 4's private beta is up and running from now until August 6 at noon central. For those of you who've pre-ordered the fourth installment of the Black Ops series, you get early access to some gameplay in the private beta weekends. This weekend, only PS4 players are shooting each other in the face. But next weekend, Xbox and PC players will be able to join in on the action too. So far, we only have access to some 5 on 5 multiplayer matches with 6 maps and 6 different game modes. The Battle Royale mode won't be available during private beta weekends. PUBG's latest update for its test server has a whole list of things that's changed. Things that we'd like to see, but unfortunately, the wait line for matchmaking is infinitely long. So here's what you should expect when the test servers start working. First off, dynamic weather is back, but matches won't be all rain or all mist. No, 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 it's more complicated. This time around, if your match starts off with cloudy skies, then the weather can change during your hunt for that chicken dinner. Be on your toes, cause rain or fog can hit at a moment's notice. The other major changes in this update consist of bullet penetration being added to arms and hands. It's now easier to drop items that are stacked. Removing weapon attachments is now as easy as alt-right clicking the weapon. So easy. And now you can mute individual teammates. You can also place markers without opening the map. Just alt-right click and a marker will be added to wherever you're aiming. What if you could express yourself? with something as simple as bouncing a ball. Introducing the oddball. It's basically a drum machine crammed into a ball. Confusing, I know, let me explain. Wherever you are, regardless of the amount of space, oddball gives you the ability to create beats in a fun, innovative kind of way. Think of the ball as a percussion instrument. So every time you bounce it, the ball speaks to the app, providing whatever sound you choose. This gadget is pressure sensitive, so the harder you throw it, the louder the sound, and vice versa. You have complete control of what sound you want to work with because of the audio library provided through the app. You can loop, skip, scratch, and even mix over your favorite artists, or play with multiple oddballs at a time. It's just a matter of time for someone to beat Dark Souls with these balls. The project was fully funded on Kickstarter in 24 hours with time still left. Oddballs start around $70 and the company hopes to ship them by January 2019. Video games can be played anywhere on any device, but has anyone made a game that can be controlled with a car? Well, Mars nerd and electric car billionaire Elon Musk wants his Teslas to be able to play games on the center console. Why, one might ask? Because he believes car driving will be extremely boring when your car is doing all the driving for you. Well, that kind of makes sense. Musk tweeted out to people, quote, into video game development, wanting games for the car's touchscreen. People and developers who have responded to his inquiry are Jackbox Games and Player Unknown. But Elon, we already got games on our phone. How about you focus less on the car entertainment and more on the not making killer robots? Think we can't give you all of this week's gaming news? Well, you thought wrong, cause it's time for the quickies. It's better when Paxton's here. Xbox One has two Splinter Cell games added to the backward compatibility list, Blacklist and Double Agent. Sales for Nintendo games are out. Mario Odyssey has sold 11 million copies, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe with 10 million, and Breath of the Wild with 9 million. Pretty impressive, Nintendo. Pretty impressive. The upcoming side-scroller game Planet Alpha announced a September 4th release date. For Honor has started their seventh season called Storm and Fury. PS4 has officially outsold the PS3 with 82 million units. Took you long enough. 
If you dominated in Super Smash Bros. Melee, then here's some good news for you. Nintendo will have GameCube controllers for the new Switch installment. Artifact, Steam's upcoming card game based on Dota 2, has a November 28th release date. New Nintendo Labo Kits puts players behind the wheel of cars, planes, and submarines. Fortnite has been downloaded more than 100 million times on mobile. That's, that's a lot. That wraps up the gaming news from this week, but we still have a treat for you. Here's a sneak peek of Alabama Boss playing the new hit game, Pixel Ripped 1989. Oh, this is so weird. I see my feet and I'm a woman! Why, are, why do I have on a dress? Look at my ankles. So I am... This is so weird. Mother Oh, I can't pay attention! I'm supposed to play a game in class. Oh, I got killed! No! What is this? What the hell? Alright, yeah. No, 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 no! What is this? It's oh. Go. oh my god. I, no, oh, no, no, no. Oh, she's. Well, that is a big bitch. No, she didn't see me. That's it. Oh, f The full version of Boss's gameplay will go up this coming Monday, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. And that's a wrap for this week. Let us know in the comments which games you're playing, and we'll see you next time. And yes, Paxson will be back, I promise. For Red Red Gaming, I'm Montgomery Brown. Mm -hmm.